So this is in our series about artificial intelligence. And I want to begin with something that really does affect nearly almost everybody in, in our society. Uh, Vietnam, where I live right now, has a very, very high percentage of internet adoption. Um, about 60 to 70 million users are on Facebook. Uh, it's one of it's one of Facebook's or Meta, whatever the hell they call themselves. Um, it's it's one of the uh, largest adopters of the platform. Um, Twitter is on a very low level of adaptation. TikTok um, is is below YouTube on that. Uh, I mean, is below uh, uh, YouTube. So it goes Facebook, YouTube, t uh, TikTok, and then Twitter. Now, why are we talking about these things? Um, because of algorithms. Algorithms is a form of artificial intelligence that clearly affects all of us that use the internet on a regular basis. An algorithm is designed to learn about you. Um, that's why they call it YouTube and not RTube. <laughs> it's it's literally um, a, it's not a a web site. It's a service provider, right? Serving videos. Um, when you open your screen, it does not look like my screen. In fact, nobody's screen really looks alike. Uh, they they feed you the information based on all the data that they're collecting about you across many platforms and hope that they find things that create stickiness. Stickiness on a website or on a domain or a service provider means that you spend a lot of time there. The more time you spend there, the more ads they can feed you, the more money they make. So algorithms are a a form of artificial intelligence that really do affect each of us every single day of our lives. Now, is that good or bad? Well, it can be both. The good side is you might discover things about a topic of interest that you wouldn't have found uh, on your own. It would be hard to search them out. And so the algorithm is feeding that information to you. The bad part about that is that it can also feed you lots of other information that you don't really necessarily need to read, want to read, want to watch, want to see based on what kinds of searches and what kind of things that you're watching. As a teacher of a, a online teacher, especially when I was when I'm working with my online students, I look up so many different things because a, a person, a student will have a question about a definition, will have a, a question about something that we're talking about, and so I'll do searches on that. And so I confuse the algorithm quite often and it ultimately ends up feeding me things that I definitely am not interested in watching or seeing um, or spending time on. And I, I often sometimes uh, try to kind of reboot the system so that I'm getting the, the information that I need more regularly. Um, but it, it's, uh, it, 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 like I say, it has a good and a bad side to it. Um, now, Facebook, on the other hand, and I'm not on Facebook, I, I won't use that that platform at all um, Facebook has an unusually uh, disturbing algorithm that it uses uh, for example one of the things that it does is that a like counts for one point and a dislike counts for five points that means that the more dislikes you get on a posting the more they feed that out to other people the reason is they have learned, um, the meta corporation has learned that anger and 
being disturbed by things creates stickiness. Uh, you will stay on the site longer. You will argue with people who may be real or may be not real. Um, you will read things that are of dubious uh, reputation and really are misinformation or disinformation. Uh, you'll find yourselves being uh, led into groups that are not healthy environments for you or for anyone to be in. Um, and so that, that the algorithms that they use are particularly disturbing uh, in my mind. Um, I find, or I, I have experienced in my own life with them and seeing other friends that use them often, that it really does tend to lead you down uh, rabbit holes of discontent. So the, you know, the, the use of these algorithms, like I say, it can be beneficial in, in some ways and it can be really detrimental in others. Um, I will do one, uh, another thing about Instagram um, but I want to do that from my computer because I want to show you the studies that, that have come out about Instagram. So any of you that are using these various service providers, please be aware of how they operate, how they send you uh, more information to stay on their site. And uh, I hope you'll think about these things as well. I've spent quite a lot of time thinking about them, reading about them, and uh, like I say, I, I do find there's, there's benefits and um, disadvantages to them, but this is sort of a long video, and I know that much of this series will probably uh, be made up of videos that are in the, in the five to 10 minute range, because the topic is, is so broad. And, and so influential. I hope you enjoy this. I love sharing with you guys. And if you have any comments, please leave them below. If you have any questions, uh, please write them in the, in, you know, in the comments below. And I will do my best to get back to you with, um, with at least an answer I consider an answer. And it may or may not be wrong. I'm not an expert in, uh, in everything. I'm uh, like what they say, a, a jack of all trades, master of none. I, uh, I love learning new things and I love challenging questions. So peace from Vietnam, much love, like, share and subscribe and join me in this series as we explore artificial intelligence and its effect on humanity.